Hi guys, Todd here. Good day today. Um, today we have a, a friend back. Uh, my god, it's April. At the tail end of the year last year I did my favourite devices and so on and my highlights for 2013. My favourite rebuildable dripping atomizer for 2013 was the Origin. Uh, which is made by Norbert. Uh, now Norbert has been busy and he has now sent me on the version 2. Um, so Origin Dripper version 2. There's... <sighs> Am I going to do a full-on review? Yeah I think I will. I think it deserves it. Um, now <clears throat> This was sent direct to me from Norbert and I know that Stu and Mo at schmovapes.co.uk are selling this. Uh, they've, so, they've sold out but I think they're waiting and more coming into stock. But uh, do you know what? I'm not going to tell you anything. I'll, I'll, we'll wing it. We'll just dive in and we'll have a look and uh, tell you all about it as we go along and I'll do a rebuild on this. So. Without further ado, before we do get going, I'm just going to say a big, huge shout out to Norbert for letting me have a shot at this once again. I got this free for review. What I will also point out, which is what I do not have here, is that you can buy a, a different center pin for the Origin to convert it into a squonking atty. So rather than dripping from the top, you put it on your... Uh, device, your squonker, you know it's a say a box mod and it has a juice bottle in the bottom and when you push that bottle it feeds ju juice up through the bottom of the atomizer. So there is a squonking option available and I think the Schmo Vapes guys do actually have that piece in stock. Right, let's go for it. So here we go, this is everything that I got and uh, this is £67. You can also buy, Norbert is selling these uh, drip tips as well which are just perfect for dripping. You get them in long and short mode, I think they're about £11 if I remember correctly and this is the shorty version. So I'll be using this. You get a spares pack with all the o-rings that you'll need. You get a spare screw in there and the Allen key that you're going to need. And here's the goodies. Right. Let's get this out of the way. Let's have a close-up look at this. Compare it. Now, the old one. This is quite different. We've still got a brass centre post here. And the centre post here still has that eyelet there for passing your wires through. You know, the one that I completely missed when I reviewed it the first time round. Uh, these posts are a lot easier to get a grip of as well. I like what he's done here with the centre post. Two negatives on either side. And rather than two independent wells, we have one big well in the bottom. And this machine piece round the top which is really nice. I like what he's done with that. It's a, a good progression from the, the V1. We have engraving going on around the bottom here. Origin, origin Dripper. We have a date on it and we have a serial number. We do have this uh, brass contact in the bottom. I'm going to say it's non-adjustable. Uh, this would be, you know, for just if you wanted to take this out altogether and put in the other post. Um, but it's I, I don't think it's going to be for adjusting for anything. But you can see the machining is actually quite nice on it. Now the top capping section. 22 millimeters in diameter. Same as the last one. We've got that small chamber in there yet again, two o-rings to hold it in place. So this will sit, you know, you would line up your air hole 
whatever air hole you're going to be using. Now you can run this in dual wick or single wick configuration. Uh, you know, you can go 1.2, 1.5, up to 2mm air holes in dual or single. So I would just pop this on here like so. Then I would take my airflow control ring and pop that on there like so. And just turn around to whatever configuration I want. And styling wise it's, it's very much the same. I can't actually remember what my original one looked like because uh, I had it copper plated. But it does look very much the same. The engraving is new in the bottom. I didn't have that in the last one. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's all about the insides here. So, I think we're just going to get a dual coil made up. And uh, we're going to go for it. Uh, first things first, I'm just uh, unscrewing the top section. I've actually, this is on my... Uh, I'm going to be using my first mod by Tad, and I'm just I've got the it on the base here, just to give me something extra to grip onto. I'm going to do undo the negative posts, just to take them back a bit, like so. And I have a couple of uh, micro coils here. This is a uh, 0.25 canthal. Uh, I've got eight wraps going round. Uh, 1.4 mil diameter piece of metal here. So we'll see how this goes together. And first things first, I'm just going to thread it like that. Just push it through. And I'm going to take the, the piece that I used to make the coil. Pop that in, just to hold everything in place, and then just wrap this underneath that screw there, or that's the plan. Sorry, I'm all fingers and thumbs here. Uh, I'm trying to hold this in and shot. There we go. Kind of where I want that to be. So I'll just take this out a second, tighten this up. So, yeah, I know it looks kind of messy just now, but the thing is, I can just pop that in there. I can pull this wire up tighter to raise the coil. So, there's one in there ready to go. And I'll just do the same with the other one now. Pass that through there first. I'm just going to pop this piece back in here again. Pull that wire in. Just get it roughly in position so I've got the two wires going through there and then tighten this down. Get my favourite little toenail clippers out. And just position these a bit better. And there we go. Two little micro coils. Or micro-ish coils. But they'll, they'll do me. Uh, they'll do me. Uh, I should really get a resistance on this. So we're looking at a resistance of 0.9 there just now. There we go. Let's get some cotton in here. So there you go. I've just uh, pulled some cotton down through. Uh, you can see I've not actually packed the chamber out in there. Uh, but I, I'm going to take some cotton now and just, uh, just pull a few strands out and just stick it down into this chamber here. And that's just so that it can soak up some liquid. And there we go. I'm going to use some of my Digby's. 
mum's custard here and just giving this a good soak in because you know that those wells are really going to soak up a lot of juice there so it looks like almost looks like I flooded it there but you know that is just going to soak it up nice I'll just give that a couple of minutes and let it soak in now uh, I'm going to go for I'll go for a, a run of the mill setup here so I'm just going to take the air hole that I want and just put, pop it straight in front of the, the coil you see that you've got three sets of holes going on you know if you just wanted to use it in single coil mode you would just you know you would use the set of holes that is in the middle there I'm using the set that's on the outside so that it's the same in the other side I'm just going to pop this over here and that's me good to go now excuse my ham-fisted attempts at setting this up but dual coil or single coil for me I find it I'm used to the origin you might find it a bit fingers and thumbs uh, the first time you do it but uh, you know I'm just using vertical coils and it's, you will get it you will get it. if you're not used to doing it don't worry about it a, a couple of goes and you'll you'll nail it no problem uh, here it is sitting on the first mod uh, and I'm running, or oh, what am I running, I'm two 1.5mm air holes on either side I'm using uh, Digby's Mum's Custard and it's a 0 0.9 ohm coil and I'm using Norbit's own drip tip, the big wide bore so here we go Right, uh, you'll watch many reviews from many reviewers and they'll all have their favourites and they'll all like this and some will say it's hyped, some will say it's crap, some, you know, we've all got different opinions and that's why you should watch as many different reviews as possible. For me personally, I just bloody love this thing, I really do. Um, Just stunning. What a beautiful feat. And it's not the clouds and all that stuff, it's the flavour for me. Uh, this is just a flavoursome rebuildable dripping atomizer, and that's where it scores. It still scores in looks, as far as I'm concerned. It's a beautiful looking piece of kit. Uh, this is all personal taste, of course. Um, £67. For me, I mean, I'm, you know, like, I, I really like just now, I really like the, the Hades uh, V2 and the Yalik Dripper. I, I really like them. But my original V1 Origin is always in circulation. As a dripper, it's great. Um, this, for me personally, I like the modifications that he's done. He's kind of like just tweaked it, taken a f few of the rough edges off of the, the V1 and made it a bit more streamlined as a product. You know, the, the one big well. Um, and you know the nut for twisting down if I is it streets ahead of the V1 for me personally no I don't think it is not vape quality wise it, it seems to me to be much the same uh, vape quality wise I think what you're paying for in the V2 is the, the refined machining and the, you know, that. Um, 
so if you can get a hold of a V1, great, uh, you'll love it. If you can get a hold of a V2, then you're going to get a more refined product. That's just a great vape. And for whatever reason, uh, it just seems to come to bits a lot easier as well. Um, I found my original one was quite tight. Uh, the O-rings and everything were quite tight in it. This is... It's just... It just seems a bit more polished. Right, we're two mil air holes. Is that two? Sorry, I'm just checking. I'm just double checking this. I'm reading off Schmovape's website and they're saying it's two. I just want to double check. And yeah, dual two mil air holes. Ooh. <laughs> right, enough. Um, so, to sum up, if you get the Origin V2, if you already know the Origin V1, you are going to get more of the same, uh, slightly redesigned inside, um, just a more polished product than the V1, in my opinion. Um, I think the taste is stellar. I really love this attic, this rebuildable dripper, a lot. And I would give it a big two thumbs up and thoroughly recommend it to anybody. Uh, I really would. I love it that much. Um, and that's it from me. Thank you to Norbert uh, for sending this on. You're a gent as always. Um, I would gladly pay for this. Uh, and I would, yeah, I'd buy it all day long. I don't know when Schmo Vapes are getting them back in stock. You could go along to vaporwall.com. Norbert is on there as well. He has his own area, the modding area, and you can sign up and maybe get a hold of one there as well. Uh, so you've got two avenues to go down. But that's it for me, guys. All the best now. We'll speak to you soon. Cheers. <laughs>